for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this quick tip video is going to be on creating the multiplier place count holder inside of model based definition. What I'm talking about here is like this 4x. So when I'm in looking at my locating dimensions or I'm looking at my true position tolerance dimension on these holes, it really picks up all four holes going through this part and gives me the correct 4x. If I was to delete one of the holes, it would change it to 3x. Unlike traditional dimensioning in SOLIDWORKS, where a lot of times you just put that in manually. You can do that as well in model-based definition, but it's better to make that uh, reference dimension that is tied to the parametric features. So if the features change, the dimension updates, and you don't make the mistake of sending this part out with the, the wrong X count or placeholder count inside of a dimension. So let's get started with showing us what we have to do in order to uh, dimension all the fillets over in these pockets on both sides of the part. Now, as you can see, if I'm working in model-based definition dimensioning and I had it on the front view, it's going to show those dimensions in the front view as I spin this around. I might want to go ahead and put the dynamic annotation views on, which really makes the dimensions come up for that view that you're in. So if I want to kind of unclutter my screen, that's a real good way to do it. Now, traditionally, we go in and we grab a dimension type command in model-based dimensioning, or in what we used to call dimension expert, it's called the size dimension. And if I'd go click the size dimension and then go click the fillet that I want to go ahead and put it on, I would see that I only have one radius out there. It's not putting in the multiplier for all the fillets you see in the model in these pockets. Why is that? Well, if these fillets were created with the fillet feature in 3D and you picked all the different edges, it would automatically pick up that place count. But you don't always think about that when you model these features. These features were sketched in. And these fillets over here were mirrored about a center line. So it doesn't have the information in the model to get that place count holder. So how do you do that? inside a model-based definition and make it parametric to the dimension. So if I took a fillet out, the X count would change. Well, let's take a look. One way to do it is to go ahead and go into the pattern feature command and manually create that tie-in. So I'm really going to go through and pick each one of the fillets as though I picked the edges in 3D, the exception of since the fillet's already there, I'm picking the fillet that I would have if I put the fillet in in 3D. So as I go through and pick the different fillets, I'm going to intentionally leave this side out because I want to show you a different way to add it as we go along. But I'll go ahead and create those fillets, I'll go into my right side annotation view and activate that view. So when I put this dimension in there, it'll go into that view as well. And now I'm going to go put that size dimension back on again. And you see that it's picked up the 12x on there. It's kind of nice. If I took out one of those fillets, it would change the 12x. But look, I missed some that were on this side of the model. Let me go over to the left view and activate that and see. Oh, a while back, I did dimension that. And based on the way that piece might have been modeled, the 4x came up. But now as I'm realizing I didn't really do this one correctly, I might want to go ahead and combine those two together. So a good way to do that is just to go ahead and switch this over to the view that you want to combine them in. In other words, my other dimension was in my right annotation view. So I moved it over to my right. Go back in and activate and orient that. And then you can go in and you can click, hold the control key and right click on your second dimension. 
and you'll get the combine dimension command to come up. So if I go to combine dimensions, that goes ahead and puts everything in one. On something like this, I'm, I might want to go in and still put a note that says something like far and near side or something to make it really clear. But that's the way that you can, A, pattern features through the pattern feature manual patterns method by collecting them. And then B, if you already had that done in another set and you want to add those together and you notice that particularly after you have the two dimensions on there, just click on the two dimensions and click combine. There would be one more way to do that. As we're developing these pattern dimensions, if we look, that pattern dimension that I developed is right in here. And these two are just combined now. That was the original four pieces on the other side. Well, you could always go in and edit the feature on these and add more fillets or take the fillets away outside of here. So this is something that's parametric enough to where you could come in and edit it and change the feature count there as well. So those are some tips and tricks for creating multipliers or place count holders that are parametric inside of SOLIDWORKS model-based dimensioning or dimension expert dimensions. Thanks for watching another quick tip video. I hope you watch some of my other videos on model-based definition dimensioning and using model-based definition inside of SOLIDWORKS. Thanks again for watching another Go Engineer video.